What is up, guys? Uh, we're just doing a little bit of bailing today. Figure I'd hop on here and uh, make a video for you guys. Uh, was having a little bit of an issue. A little bit of an issue actually bailing this. Uh, and then you guys helped me out and uh, downloaded and installed the uh, add build uh, add build the build types mod, and that kind of seemed to resolve the issue. Because what was happening is I was bailing this, um, and for whatever reason, it stopped working. It wasn't bailing alfalfa, it was bailing um, straw. So, and then I kind of like just was testing with the in game mods. I was using the in game round baler and in game square baler, and the round baler would do grass, and the square baler would do straw. So I was like, what the heck, because I never did that before, nothing changed, except the only thing I put in my mods fold, or like, is the new uh, beet harvesters that Giants released, so I was like, that's kind of weird that everything's not working for Elf Anyways, because it worked like a while ago when I was doing, when I was bailing a couple videos ago, so, I don't know, it kind of blows my mind how that stuff happens. Anyways, the add bail types mod which, you know, if you just Google it or look on Mod Hoster, should be on there, and you just install it and it fixed the issue, so, for Elfalfa, at least. Um, so, glad that we're able to bail our, our Elfalfa again, and it doesn't turn to straw. I'm not sure why on the servers they reduce the clip distance in the bales. It makes it so hard to see when you're trying to uh, collect them. Anyways, we're uh, in our T3, uh, TA320. It'd be really nice if I had like a nice 200 horsepower treader, like a, some decent sized T7. Surprised Giants didn't release a T7 with the uh, New Hollands. But... We all know where their priorities are. my GPS here. Uh, if you guys have been paying attention, I released my version 3 of my Oxbow merger. And as you can see, how big these windrows are when you merge with a uh, <laughs> Oxbow 34-foot uh, 30 uh, merger. It's 22... Uh, 22 meter windrows. The uh, big in-game Crone is uh, only 18, so it's significantly more dense um, uh, swaths. I thought I forgot to put down my pickup. It was just cause cruising right along here. 
I reduced the price on the elf elf because it was really expensive. Now we're around like 800 or something a bale. Still high, but. It's also 20, uh, <coughs> 6,000 liters instead of what a regular bale is. Bale this size would be about 4,000 liters, or like um, these big square bales. As big as they get is like under 4,000, I think. 4,000 liters. But I mean, it depends on how tight you can pack it, it depends on your density factor. Right around 4,000 liters, I think. 38, 4,000 is the kind of material you can press into those big bales. Anyways, I have this at 6,000 just so it'd be a little bit less bales. Because if you go uh, play on like the base game, you just poop out bales like it's nobody's business. Because the yields are so outrageous. And Anyways, I was merging, um, I set my merger at 11 meter working width with an offset of half a meter. Um, that way when you're merging from both sides, it puts the, uh, it builds a one meter wide uh, windrow like we're doing here. And then I just set my bailing GPS at 22 meters. And right down the middle. It's working very well. Uh, so what we're doing on the server now is um, uh, we're basically in this first crop of alfalfa field, and then um, we're also in the midst of spraying, doing some localized um, spraying on fields that need it. Um, and as you can see, the alfalfa is no longer damaged looks really nice um, because the wheel lane doesn't the wheel lane script by Decker doesn't destroy your crops till after the third growth stage so as long as you're on the mower in front of your wheels the front mower yet um, you'll be run over uh, freshly uh, stage one crop instead of harvestable crops so uh, nice thing that we don't have to replant our alfalfa, we can just kind of manage it, was, uh, we can roll it, put moisture back in the ground, and then we can uh, spray it, and do, do everything else, except we don't have to worry about tillage or <clears throat> planting again, so that's nice. Um, we have our fuel and service uh, trailer uh, hooked to our Silverado. For servicing our equipment on the field and repairing it uh, so we don't have to drive all the way back to the shop to do so. As you can see, the bales are a little bit different because with the mod comes i3D files, so um, you can change it if you want, but bales still disappear even if you increase the clip distances on the servers, even if it's not part of the core game. For a second I thought I was going to have to sell this thing and get a small round baler and I was going to be pretty upset about that because I dropped the money on buying this. I 
bought mowers and a baler, you know, it's <coughs> that's like uh, 150 thousand dollars I invested just to do our alfalfa. Uh, we don't own a merger yet, or a tail handler, or any front end loaders, so we just kind of lease those as we need them. We only use them for a couple hours and then we're done. Doesn't actually make sense to buy one yet. We're not doing enough acres to keep a guy busy. and merging will keep a guy fairly busy if there's nothing else to do or if we're waiting for time or you know something else is everything else is done I mean we should really be spraying right now instead of bailing but once it's all bailed we can uh, probably have a guy come in uh, collect the bales and stack them get ready for stack them next to the road so when we're done spraying can load them and sell them and then some guy can roll roll the field and put down some more nutrients like PK or something like that so we can have uh, another hopefully we can get another second cut in um, before harvest or it will be right around harvest time, I do believe, is when we'll get our second cut in. I do like bailing because it's so much quicker than, than mowing or merging. Uh, mowing is right around like 8 meters what the triple mowers is pretty close to being and then um, our merger is uh, 11 meters per pass but we make a 22 meter uh, wind row and obviously we're cruising along at 22 meters so we're twice as fast as our merger and then after that we could probably uh, go rent the stacker we can hook up to a land roller and roll some of our other fields that are in the first grow stage that need moisture but um, another thing is I updated the soil mod from 22 to 27 degrees when it takes away the moisture because I feel like 72 degrees Fahrenheit is a little I mean that's pretty cold still I mean if, if it's 72 degrees that uh, you're gonna be wearing a jacket I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of moisture evaporating out of soil at 72 degrees so I bumped it up to 80 and I think I'm going to bump it up even more you know probably over 85 degrees until it starts taking away moisture out of the soil because um, I mean typically in the summer when you're when you're flirting with you know 90 degree days like two three weeks in the 90s that's when you're going to lose a lot of your moisture but as long as your your crops are uh, covering you know, your soil, imagine you wouldn't get a whole lot of evaporation. And the plants themselves have mechanisms to prevent evaporation. So. Uh, can't I'm trying to remember my freshman biology class. It's like I think leaves have uh, what are they called stomatas or something some ridiculous underneath the leaves so it, it accepts water underneath the leaf instead of on top uh, weird random stuff that no one cares about but stomata I remember looking at those things that are microscope Also, kind of changed my Milo texture, and I kind of fixed my uh, clover as well.
Yeah, before I, I, I was trying to figure out what was going wrong, because, I mean, in the last videos I was bailing my elf outfit just fine, and the only thing new, really, I, that I added um, was that new Homer uh, uh, meat harvesting pack. And that, I mean, I can't imagine that would have anything to do with it, but, and I reinstalled some old patches, and it was doing the same thing, so I literally have no idea. It's just like, it just, the game just decided that it was wasn't going to bail Elf Elf anymore. Um, so I, I literally have no idea what caused it, but that add uh, bail types really did fix it. So it's amazing how like the bail itself wouldn't even like listen to the multi-fruit or additional uh, fruit mod, you know? Like it would show in my HUD as alfalfa, like this, and it would be pooping out its straw. So I was just like, "What the literal heck?" You know, this game can be um, frustrating at times because it makes no sense. So if you guys look at my PDA map, you can see I updated it. You can see that field 23 is updated. Field 25 is also updated. Um, to reflect our expansions. So I uh, cleaned up the uh, PDA map a little bit. See the uh, fields we're currently farming. 37 all the way up north where one of our Patriots is currently uh, working. 19 big corn field. I really want to get over to the to the east side, 1636 and 35. That would kind of like really help us out uh, completing the southern part of the map. And then obviously we went eight and nine, but you know that's a lot of additional acres. like to get up there in the north, uh, northwest too, uh, get like 39, 38, 41, 40, that would be a really nice place to expand to, if we wanted to, because we're going to have to buy more storage, bin storage, because um, I think we're just, I think we actually might be a little bit over our capacity on this harvest. Um, we have 120,000 bushel capacity and then an additional 30,000 bushel capacity. So uh, we have a, we can store you know a fairly decent amount of crop, but depending on how much we're doing, if we do like our big bin storage only does like four point uh, I can't remember like four some million 4.1 4.3 or something is there no 4.5 I don't know I can't remember I think it's spec at 120,000 bushel whatever that is in liters um, and then we have the small the three 10,000 bushel bins as well that we own Anyways, we're making quick work of this field with this baler. Luckily, we don't have to replace the string or anything. We don't get jams. Bailing way fast, but... What can you do? Uh, 
Um, someone was asking me in the comments, uh, I'm just too lazy to reply sometimes, so. Like in the top right, you can see the date and time, it says day 65 Tuesday, that is the real daytime mod. Um, you can pretty much find it if you just Google it, I'm sure it's on at least a dozen sites by now. But it is a uh, mod that it goes in the map. It's a LUA file, so it goes in the map. As far as I know, it's not a ZCZ file. And then people ask me what is the mod on the top left. That is the Glance mod. It's far superior than anything else out there. Um, because you can just add as much information to it as you want. Like this is all of my vehicles currently. You can see what's in it. You can see its capacity. You can see how fast it's going. You can see what fields it in. Um, you can see what it's filled with, what it's doing, so, um, definitely, like, one of the most useful mods, especially on the server when you're trying to babysit a few other guys. You can see what they're doing, what kind of mistakes they're doing. Keep them on their toes. Uh, and then damage mod, uh, HUD's kind of in the way sometimes, so I'll just get rid of it. So depending on how many bales we did, probably around 100 bales. I don't know, I imagine we're probably going to come out around 80,000 on this field worth of hay. Maybe a little less. Which should cover us, get us through, um, through harvest with our land lease and taxes and stuff like that and fertilizers. Last few passes coming up here.
Can't see it. Server issue, I swear to God. I swear they like spec this game out for like the shittiest Walmart laptop. your uh, sunflower field. We got corn growing over here. I'm gonna park this over the small shed. Anyways, got a lot to do. Pretty quiet uh, what time is it in the game actually? It's almost one o'clock, so thanks for watching.